Hey everyone, so I really wanted to make this video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm risking my job by doing this. I'm not saying anything mean. So, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about co-teaching. Um, Epic, in general, especially during orientation, will tell you that you will have the role as a co-teacher. Now, this looks different depending on the person, depending on the school, depending on your co-teachers um, or co-teacher. And um, yeah, it has a lot of a lot of moving factors that kind of dictate how this looks for, or how this will look for you. Um, I do want to emphasize that I feel like a lot of people will complain when they are in a certain um, role as an NET, a native English teacher, um, and what kind of role their KETs, Korean English teachers, take on in class. They might complain a lot about that, but then fail to understand that like KETs are human beings, but like they have experiences, they are people with experiences, those experiences have kind of dictated the way that they think now and the way that the classroom may run. So that is something that I want to stress. And it could easily be solved if both parties are willing to talk. Um, so definitely don't like, if you see that you're not doing something or something isn't working for you, um, definitely know that just finding the time to talk with your co-teacher is probably going to help you a lot. <laughs> um, I feel like there are a few types of co-teachers and I am talking specifically about like during class because I want to say outside of class for the most part most co-teachers are generally very kind or at least cordial um, but inside the classroom from my own and um, experiences that I've heard from other people I feel like these are the four main roles that KETs will take on. So first is the sleeper. It's pretty self-explanatory but this may not include people who actually sleep in class like they might just play games on their phone in the back of the class but essentially they never leave like a corner of the room <laughs> the entire 40 to 50 minutes that you're teaching. Um, then there's the magician and I call this the magician because the minute that class starts or the bell has rung they are out. You will not see this person. You will just be like did they leave work? Where are they? Um, yeah this is that person like they will book it the minute that the that their time is up for the prior class. Um, then you have the translator which I say translator, but like essentially KETs in general are supposed to do some type of translation for the students in case things are, get too difficult, but I am specifically saying this because there are some co-teachers who will translate as you're speaking and don't really give the students much time to think and practice their listening skills. So yeah. And the last one is the co-educator. Now this actually has a few different levels to it that I'll get into in a second. Um, but this is more along the lines of the type of co-teacher that Epic describes. Now that we've talked about the role that KETs take in a class, let's talk about your role in the class or what that could be or look like. So first you could be the play button. So there are moments in the books especially in the um, middle and elementary school books where there is a conversation or a video that is supposed to be played for the students to practice their listening skills. Um, now you could be the person who's just sitting at the computer or at the um, boombox to press play, have the students listen, stop it, um, 
rewind it and also repeat and or repeat the exact conversation with a little bit more emphasis on certain words or at a slower pace. Um, your co-teacher may also ask you to do this such that the students repeat after you. Um, but yeah, essentially you're a play button. The other type of role you may play in the class is the fun teacher. So the fun teacher um, may be the teacher who only plays games with the students. You may have a co-teacher who views NETs as the game teachers, like they only ever want to play games, they only ever make games for activities, um, they don't really want to teach, and it's probably because they met somebody who was like that, which, sidebar, if you are not coming here because you actually want to give teaching a try, I really, really hope that when you do get here, you try to teach and not just play games with the students because you're not benefiting, because you're taking away from their education and they did nothing wrong. Coming back, um, because they may have experienced somebody who only ever played games with the students, that may be the way that they imagine co-teachers as being, or NETs as being, or they're kind of just like, well, I want them to, the students to like have a good impression on um, foreigners or whatever the case may be, whatever their reasoning is, they may only want you to play games with the, te with the students. Um, and so maybe you'll, the, the days that you have class, maybe you'll have the entire 40 to 50 minutes to play a game um, or you'll get like the later half of the class to play the game with the students and in the beginning half your co-teacher may do the whole like um, lesson plan for the book. The next one is the main teacher. So you could be the main teacher um, in the classroom and then your co-teacher is probably going to play the role of like a translator or the sleeper. Um, <laughs> so they'll be in the room and they'll help kind of to like make sure the students understand what you're saying and to kind of manage the class and make sure that they're not getting too out of hand. Um, but aside from that, like you're probably lesson planning on your own and you're probably uh, teaching the class mostly on your own. Um, which brings us to the next type of te role that you may play. You may play the role of the only teacher because, like I said, there are some co-teachers who will disappear. They will GTFO the minute the bell rings. Um, yeah, so that means you're most likely also lesson planning on your own if you're only teaching. Um, and this can be really difficult, especially if you do not know any Korean because the students um, may not know that much English or you'll have like one or two students who are like really good at English and then you kind of rely on them, but like they're students still. So it, like at least I feel weird about like having the one student continually translate for the rest of the class. Um, the other options or the other types of roles that you'll have are more along the co-educator role. So the first one, and these are also the, the roles that are like the best to have. Um, so the first one is the three quarters teacher. So the three quarters teacher, I, I'm saying this because basically you're probably lesson planning on your own, but Inside of class, your co-teacher is actually helping you. Like, they may ask you for a rundown of what's going on. Um, if they don't, you should really offer them a rundown of what's going to go on. Um, and they will kind of, like, stick around inside class. They won't just stick to one corner of the room. They'll probably walk around and actually check to make sure the students are doing the work. Um, there are some co-teachers who will just like walk around to make sure people aren't, aren't 
are like doing the work but they're not actually checking to make sure that they understand but this in this situation um, the co-teacher is like actively engaging with the students as you are taking the lead throughout the class period um, this person may also you know if you need it there they are also kind of more the types to if you need them you should tell them um, kind of personality like they have that kind of personality trait where like if you need them to explain a role play for example you should tell them ahead of time and they won't say no to like helping you um, demonstrate that you know but they're not going to actively be like oh let me help you do this <laughs> you know um, especially not in the middle of the class so yeah um, and then the final one which is the ideal and the image that that epic kind of promotes is the co-educator like the fully co-educator um, and this could look like a number of things it could be you um, taking the lead for half the class while the other teacher is you know going around making sure students are keeping um, are keeping pace and, and etc um, helping the students that need help they and then for and then at the middle point of the class period you kind of switch roles of being a co-educator or having that type of role is that you are likely lesson planning together um, like even if you brainstorm separately you'll have like maybe every week you'll meet and say okay what are we gonna do this week um, how are we going to explain this to the students what activities are we gonna do what project do we want the students to do um, like you'll be doing all of this together and these teachers do exist they do exist but so do all of the other teachers that I mentioned before so when you come here please 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 um, I really just want you to have a realistic expectation I don't want you to be too nervous about getting somebody who's not um, who like getting a teacher who like disappears um, at the beginning of class but know that like sometimes these kind of teachers do exist um, and you may end up with that kind of a co-teacher and in those cases talking to them is definitely the best thing because outside of class they're probably really cool people and they probably do talk to you but the minute class starts they're just gone you know so yeah that's pretty much it um I hope that this was helpful I really tried to not ramble and I still rambled I'm so sorry about that but I will see you guys in my next video bye she's a type to make you hesitate Charlie at a party how you doing what's your name yeah.